My name is Mark and welcome to my channel. Join me all year round, come rain or shine, and together we will be fishing for pleasure. This week's episode, and we're still off of those tension crucians. Morning troops, been fishing about an hour. You know, you know what it's like when you arrive at a fishery and it's dead calm, dead quiet, you've got the place to yourself, you just want to get in and fish. <laughs> so I've been fishing about an hour, on the bottom of corn, I've had one tench. <laughs> I have, but it was only like, <laughs> about as big as my hand, so I looked it, put it straight back. So, but at least we've, we've had a tench, which we were after. There's plenty of activity. I'm missing a lot of bites though, so I'm seriously pondering going over to the pole. A bit more accuracy and a bit more finesse. So I'm missing a lot of bites. Whether it's small stuff or whether it's crucians, I don't know. I hope it's crucians, but I'm going to go a bit more finer, a bit more delicate, and see if I can whack a few out. Let's crack on and look at this swim, and then we'll catch some fish, eh? Well here's the swim troops, same one we fished last time we was here, I've already had one tench, no bigger than my hand so it wasn't a, wasn't a trophy shot opportunity, <laughs> greedy little sod took a big grain of corn on the bottom, I had a few bites, a lot of mist as well, I'm already thinking about switching over to the pole. We've had another, another one. I don't think you'll be able to see this, it's that small. <laughs> that is a, what you call baby tench. Perfection in miniature. Look at that little bugger. Little cube of meat. Wolfed it down. Let's get back out there, see if we can catch some bigger fish than that. Look at that. Well, just got done by a nuisance fish. Carp. 
No scales. <laughs> That's all that came back on the hook. Big old scale there, single grain of corn, 16 hook. Oh well, let's crack on, see if we can catch, see if we can catch the culprit. Small fish after small fish. <laughs> Lunatic bites I couldn't hit on the rod and reel. <laughs> Hundreds of them. <laughs> I had, probably had it 20, 30 tench, all about the same size. So I decided to switch over to the pole for a bit more finesse to see if it would uh, produce some better fish. And another one. Another baby tench on the meat. Oh god, I hope, I hope there's some decent ones in here. Yeah, about time we had some. Pulled back a little bit. Beautiful rod on lunch and meat. Look at that. A lovely little rod, isn't it?
<laughs> well, I ain't done much talking because, well, I ain't had much to say. As you've just seen, I've just lost another carp, nuisance carp, single grain of corn. I was, I was catching rud on the drop with meat. So I thought oh, I'll put a bit of corn on and they didn't take it on a drop. I just, well, woe is me and very delicate little bite lifted into it. I thought it was a tench at first. It was a common, about seven, eight pound. Just as I got it to the net, hook pulled. So, <laughs> oh well, hey, it's not too worried. You know, today we've had so far, we've had about 30, 40, maybe even 50 tench, all about that big. <laughs> One slightly bigger than the hand. The rud were bigger than the most of the tench so I had a couple of nice rud no roach and no crucians sadly but it's early yet but it's you know it's the evening now as you can see it's been scorching hot all day so I've been concentrating on keeping the swim going and you know keeping it alive in this very hot weather and it's it's produced all day really but <laughs> Yeah, that common, I thought, well, I thought it was a tench at first, six, seven pound tench, but no, it was a six or seven pound common. Got it up in the end, it, it, it fought a bit like a tench. You know, it was going round and round and round, jagging around, so I thought it was, but no, it, it was a common. That's uh, the third nuisance carp I've had on today. One up on the rod and reel, I'll show you the scales. The scales were huge, size of 50 inch piece. I don't know what that was. Obviously, I must have foul hooked it. One of those, but we're going to plug on. It's about five o'clock in the evening now. That carp might have destroyed the swim, but I'm going to benefit this time of year. Is that we can fish into the evening, can't we? So that's the plan. We're going to fish into the evening. Hopefully, get ourselves some tension and crucians. It's still roasting, roasting hot. I'm hoping that sun goes down behind the conifers behind me. Gets a bit of shade on this end of the lake. But, Let's crack on, let's get back to it. Although I haven't been doing much chain, but sometimes, you know, it's the fishing speaks for itself. You know, obviously, you know, you've seen all the bites and the fish and in there, in there. Plus, it's been that hot, a lot of the cameras, the uh, batteries have overheated and they've shut down. So I haven't been able to do a great deal of filming either, really. But we've got some action. That was, that was white knuckle stuff. <laughs> There we go, let's get some fish. Well, another nuisance carp, and it's. I didn't think there was a lot of carp in here, and I, I've I've hooked into four of them a day. <laughs> Smashed to pieces. So that's me done for this session. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Nothing major, nothing huge. Just a pleasant day's float fishing, but 40, 50 potential, <laughs> all about that big. A few nice rud and nuisance carp that's our very tail of the day nuisance carp it just goes to show you the last video it was carp crazy i was fishing for them and really enjoying it and today is a uh, total opposite nuisance carp have destroyed me swim and smashed me up right at the death so time to call it a day thanks for watching troops really do appreciate it